has some kind of list. I don't know. Oh, it's the same thing. <laughs> but Turkey is not the role or leader here. It's Saudi Arabia. I'm at war with Iran. Okay, um... The fly I was dealing with earlier? I don't even know. Who am I... Let's just see what happens. I, I gotta change the title, but I'm too late to change the title. Screw it. So it looks like I gotta invade Iran. And Tehran is such a pain. Man. This sucks. I hope I didn't say it. God damn it. Fuck. Stupid. Uh, Supreme of the Great War is currently $20, uh, act. $20. The other Supreme of games actually cost a lot more. They usually cost like $30, maybe even as much as $40, but again, the Great War is $20, which I'm also happy about. Thank goodness, I saved me some money. I was expecting $30, $40 for the Great War, but it's $20. So, I'm a happy camper right now. I saved 10 Twenty dollars right there. Besides, I had to pay a bill. Actually, I'm gonna have to pay a bill today, the water bill, and that's like two hundred dollars. That hurts. That really hurts. Two hundred dollars for the water? That's too much for water. Because of a stupid pool. <laughs> Fuck. Whatever. That's life. That's what we gotta do. Work. Pay bills and rent and other shit. All right, let's switch up the song. Another super. super. Ultimate's been out for since for, for three years, 2014. Uh, the Great War, new game, okay, releasing today. Is it out yet? Let me check, refresh. Coming soon. Dang, it's not out yet, man. But anyways, uh, and then you said that they're actually going to release a DLC for the Great War for Ultimate, inside Ultimate, for what, like 20 bucks? How much would it be, like... Five bucks. To, I mean, I'll, if they're making a DLC for Supreme Ultimate just to uh, integrate and put in the Great War, then they should just make it at free. I think, not you know, charge anybody for it. That doesn't make any sense. Don't be like EA. I know how EA is. EA, Activision, those AAA companies that do that. Do that stuff like in in, the, in games like Battlefield, Star Wars, Call of Duty, Titanfall, all that other shit. <laughs> Hopefully they don't charge the DLC for the Great War. Oh man, they better no. Nah, the Great War should just be free. 
for Supremo Ultimate, for all the users that have Supremo Ultimate, they shouldn't charge ten, twenty dollars. Look what Modern Warfare Remastered, or yeah, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare did. Infinite Warfare, sixty dollars. If you want Modern Warfare Remastered, that's an extra twenty dollars. Give me money, says Activision. And besides, remastered version sucked ass from what I've heard. So, nah, nah, don't do that. Don't do that. But if it's ba if it's not Battlegoat and it's Paradox, then I guess I should be blaming Paradox, not Battlegoat. I love you, Battlegoat. I love Battlegoat Studios, everything they do. But hopefully they don't charge and do this some do the weird shit that EA Activision does. No, don't follow in their footsteps. Screw EA. Screw Activision. I play their games, but screw them. Seriously. If it's Paradox's fault, then that's Paradox. Okay, I blame Paradox. <laughs> Alright. That was a quick rant. I just came. release the game for me to continue the stream guys ah uh, again that's what everyone was wanting that's what I announced that's what I was planning on streaming but it's not unlocked
By the way, these will be uploaded as highlights to YouTube since they're continued parts for the Let's Play. As everyone knows, so I might as well do highlights. Uh, what time is it right now? We still got at least 20 minutes, 20 25 minutes until 3 p.m., guys. We'll see. And by the way, uh, it's West Coast over there, so uh, Valve is based in Seattle, Pacific Standard Time. Same thing with Battle Goat. I think Battle Goat is also. Is it? In I think it is. I'm not sure, but it's somewhere in Canada. The western part of Canada. Oh, Illinois map and welcome to stream. Invading Ecuador was a bad idea. <sighs> Hit me. Illinois mapping. What you got? What's the story? What, what's the update on your annexation of South America? What's going on? China just defeated Russia on your 2020 game? What? I've never seen that happen in my games. China really doesn't invade Russia too much, except for the eastern portions of Siberia, that's about it. But, no, I've never seen Russia get eliminated by China in my games. <laughs> okay. They just took over Moscow. That's impossible. Oh, excuse me. Moscow. What the hell? What'd you do to them? Give them cheats? Give them steroids? I'm slacking on supplies right now for Saudi Arabia, actually. I'm just realizing that. Oh, no. That's not good. I gotta take some cities here. What was I talking about earlier? Oh, that's right. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, it's 2.40 right here. 14.40. Over there, it's still 11 for the AM. It's 11.40 AM over there. So, you know, since Steam is based over there, uh, Valve can delay whatever the hell they want, basically. It's up to them. It's not Eastern Standard Time. It's Pacific over there for them. Simulated 20 years? I should do that too, right? I've never simulated my. I mean, yeah, in world annexation, I'm in the year 2036, almost 2037, but I've never simulated the whole game. I just let the, you know, game go on its own, annexing nation by nation, continent by continent, and then that's how I got to 2036. But I've never simulated the game with a cheat, of course, cheat end time. You could just simulate the game for years and years on. But I do want to simulate, I'm eager on simulating the game to uh, 2100, 22nd century. I'm eager on doing that. I should do that. That's a brilliant idea, Rust. It does lag a lot though, Rust. I agree. But I should do that. I should write that down, Rust. Assassin gave me a brilliant idea yesterday on calling world annexation. When I end it, age, the American global empire. That's what Assassin Solano uh, said yesterday during my stream. That's a good name once I finish world annexation. 2100, end day. That just gives me an idea. Okay, let me stop the song right here. I don't wanna hear that one anymore. We're gonna switch it up here. Uh, why is there a black screen? Why is there always a black screen? Fuck off. <sighs> not copyrighted, by the way. It can't be copyrighted. I don't even know what the hell is copyrighted. What's not copyrighted anymore? Why is there a black screen again? Damn. Uh, copyrighted. Man, this is this is a hard choice, man. I mean, uh, let's do this one here. Out of order. You invaded Colombia and what? 
Oh, okay, he took Colombia and then Ecuador just... Oh, the US, ah, oh, the US has interrupted your plans of annexation. Oh, that's... Damn. It's, the US always got, has to butt in, huh? Always. Always. <laughs> Damn it. Illinois mapping. Better put some screenshots. I gotta see them. At least you got Colombia, man. Did you get the uh, the colonies? French Guinea, British Guinea, Dutch Guinea. Did you get those? Suriname, Guyana. Again, as I said, French Guinea. Did you get those at least? What about Venezuela? Well, I mean, I'm getting close to the Tehran here. I mean, hopefully I can uh, eliminate Iran by, again, 3 p.m. Let me check again. Is the Great War out yet? Damn. Damn. Well. Well, I've got no comment. Well, I better go to sleep soon. Wake up at least around, let's say, 8 p.m. at night. Make a video if the Great War is released. If not, then I'll just upload a pre-recorded part of Somalia. That's what the U.S. always does, uh, Russ. They usually just take Canada or Mexico most of the time. Sometimes Cuba, if they feel threatened. <laughs> But, uh, yeah. It's either Canada or Mexico. Sometimes in my Let's Plays, though, the U.S. actually does invade all of Central America. They actually go all the way down into Panama. They never go into South America, but they usually take, on certain occasions, all of Central America. Plus Canada. Speaking of which, in Supreme World Ultimate 1936 mode, uh, the U.S. actually invaded uh, Newfoundland and Labrador, which is pretty weird. I've never seen the U.S. do that. Again, 1936 mode during World War II, they actually invaded and took Newfoundland and Labrador since it was an independent colony when the French, French took the British. Somalia. Yes, the Somalis. I'm gonna have to rename it though, from Greater Somalia to a better name, Horn of Somalia. Again, updated. My goal, first off, was to take out or take control of all Eastern Africa. I updated that goal. Now it's just to take the Horn of African Nations. I took Kenya, but that's about it. <laughs> I will be taking Ethiopia and Eritrea as the final nations for Somalia. I have Djibouti under my control. But I'm just going to recreate the Horn of Africa and call it Horn of Somalia. So I can start new Let's Plays. Axe, Romanian Republic. That's the new Let's Play that I'm going to start, actually. Romanian Republic once I'm done with Horn of Somalia. Oh, you allied Venezuela with Venezuela. Okay. Yeah, especially with Somalia. Somalia has a lack of reserves. Not enough units, not enough reserves. Uh... So that's why I opted on changing my goals for Somalia. Just Horn of Africa Nations. That's a good idea though, uh, Illinois. Al uh, what is it? Making an alliance with Venezuela at least. Why don't you ally yourself with at least one Central American nation if you can? What about that? Something like Nicaragua or maybe even El Salvador. One of the Central American nations there. Okay, what's next? What do we got here? Ah, screw this bitch. Whatever. Oh shit, we're running out of supplies actually. I just realized it's not good. I gotta take more towns here. Oh, there's a town right there in my way. Pancake! I called you Pancake again, oops. Damn, Cupcake. I, I don't know, man. I keep calling you Pancake. Maybe you should change your name. Ow, ow. 
just let you guys know I was you know I was at work I was packaging your packages by the way if you guys order stuff online especially in the US of course but UPS is worldwide uh, maybe I would have touched your package maybe you know it goes through you know if you guys order something maybe you know I I left my fingerprints on there on your packages but uh, while I was packaging some stuff bagging them uh, <laughs> I was thinking about pancakes at work, okay? I don't know. I got to smell the scent of pancakes randomly. Just me. But I was thinking about pancakes so much during work. It was like 7 a.m., 6 a.m., I think. <laughs> yes, ally with El Salvador. I don't know why, but it's always a good idea to ally yourself with at least El Salvador. For some reason, I don't know. I feel safe when I make an alliance with at least one Central American nation, that being El Salvador. I don't know why. I mean, look at Nicaragua. They're blocking the way. Honduras. I don't know. Guatemala, I just don't trust for some reason. And El Salvador is just right there, squeezed in. The perfect spot. Perfect place to make an alliance. And they got a perfect seaport, too. I don't know why. I just feel good about El Salvador for some reason. Just, just make an alliance with them. I made an alliance with them in... The Federation campaign. Okay. <laughs> America will just re <laughs> Perfect term. I like it. Thumbs up. 50 Division 1961. Hmm. Maybe I should make a Let's Play of El Salvador. Hey, how about that? A Let's Play of Hearts of Iron 4 with El Salvador. I've never done that. Never done a Let's Play with Central America. No. Never have, have I? Oh yes, I have. I'm doing with Honduras. Duh. <laughs> Gotta eat me a banana, probably. That's what I need. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe a future Let's Play with El Salvador and Hearts of Fire. <laughs> if I can make it, if I can survive, I don't know. What, I don't know what's gonna happen. All right, let's take this town. Let us get some more supplies, huh? Take that tank! Don't take that tank! Take that tank! Don't take that tank! We're not gonna take it. Oh, we raped that town too. Damn. Oh, we got one other village there. Sweet. We're closing in on Tehran. This is gonna hurt. Now this is gonna hurt. Uh, America will destroy me. Damn. We'll see what I do, Axe. We'll see. I'll figure out a plan. Oh, America went to war earlier? Okay. Understandable. You there! Halt! What are you doing? AI is broken. Be gone from my sight. Thy shall be eliminated. Yeah, all of this will be uploaded as highlights for YouTube. Continuation of parts for Middle Eastern Coalition and Ottoman Empire. So all of you guys are here. So happy about that. I'm gonna have to repair these Vonnex. I'm using these stupid Vonnex. I don't even know why I built Vonnex. Why? Because people love Vonnex. I don't know why people like Vonnex. What the heck is wrong with you guys? That's always the key. Always take towns.
part of the Middle East. I've checked that. I know that Egypt, even though it's in Africa, it's a part of the Middle East, actually. But you know what? I don't want to go into Africa. And besides Israel, uh, I have no treaty, so I can't enter. I don't want to attack Israel at all. There's no point. All right, then. Iran, Iraq. That's it. We can start a new Let's Play. Two new Let's Plays. Romania and... Uh, Persia. The Persian Empire. That's what uh, a lot of viewers have been telling me about. Do one with Iran. <sighs> Romania, Iran. Those are the two. I guess might as well switch up the song here. Oh, I heard that yesterday. No, I don't want to attack on Titan. Screw that. What that do? I don't want to hear that one either. Fantastic. <laughs> Gonna stop the music. Gonna switch back to the end game music again, sadly. Boom. Cancer right there. 
Alright, gonna open the desktop browser for Twitch. I'm 